When Alina Goodall, a 27-year-old Australian living in the small city of Mount Ida, Queensland, went for her routine doctor's checkup in 2015, she must have sensed she was facing a significant problem. She openly acknowledged her addiction to fast food and her aversion to exercise. Nonetheless, what her doctor had to say shocked her. The healthcare professional warned Goodall that unless she altered her lifestyle, her chances of surviving beyond the age of 40 were grim. Faced with this daunting prognosis, Goodall was determined to evade this potential death sentence. However, the road ahead was a daunting one. The situation had become so critical that when Goodall stepped onto her doctor's scales, they simply displayed an error due to her substantial weight. Her doctor advised her that she would need to be weighed on an industrial scale, a moment that brought into sharp focus the magnitude of her problem. She had been aware of her overweight condition, but she hadn't comprehended the peril she had placed herself in. In fact, Goodall later confessed to the Cairns Post, a Queensland newspaper, in June 2017, that she had long ceased weighing herself at home. She said, I couldn't even tie my own shoes. Things that most people take for granted, I couldn't do. Nevertheless, the enormity of her situation hit her hard when the doctor placed her on an industrial scale, revealing her weight had soared to a staggering 405 pounds. Furthermore, this 29-stone woman received a diagnosis of type 2 diabetes and severe weight-related sleep apnea. The sleep disorder increased the risk of losing her driver's license due to the danger of falling asleep at the wheel. This severity of her condition devastated the 20-something Goodall, and her parents were deeply concerned for her life. Goodall's parents remembered a time when their daughter had been a competitive swimmer. However, she had become entirely addicted to junk food and had developed unhealthy daily eating habits. During an appearance on the Australian TV show Today in August 2017, Goodall admitted her weight gain and habits, saying, takeaway was pretty much all I'd eat. I never did any exercise at all, three meals a day, pretty much McDonald's and KFC. Her issues weren't solely about poor quality food, it was also about quantity. Goodall explained, it wasn't just one large meal each sitting, it was about three I would get through, plus some extra chips as well. After multiple attempts to shed the extra pounds through sheer willpower, Goodall realized that her problem was more extensive, a massive addiction. Self-motivation alone wouldn't cut it, she needed help, and fortunately, her doctor offered a lifeline. Her doctor didn't just advise Goodall to make a change, they proposed gastric sleeve surgery, a weight loss procedure that significantly reduces the size of a patient's stomach. This operation represented Goodall's last chance to transform her life and save herself. However, the surgery was just the beginning. After the operation, Goodall abandoned fast food, recognizing that dietary changes alone would not suffice. She embarked on a low-carb, high-protein diet combined with an exercise regimen. She understood that it was possible for her to regress, but her determination not to fail remained steadfast. Goodall realized that this transformation was her most significant challenge and that she needed more than just a diet plan and a few gym visits. Approaching her 30s, she needed a complete life overhaul to have a shot at reaching her 40s. Despite this, she didn't want her new choices to revolve solely around her weight. She needed an external goal to focus on, redirecting her attention from the scales. Regardless of the goal, it had to motivate and keep her on the right track. With this in mind, Goodall made a commitment to participate in a triathlon the following year. The extensive preparations required for the running, swimming, and cycling event would shift her focus toward training, diverting her attention from her weight. She solidified her commitment by appearing on an episode of This Time Next Year, an Australian TV show that chronicles participants' year-long journeys toward achieving personal goals. The April 2016 triathlon hosted by the Julia Creek Dirt and Dust Festival in Queensland became a significant milestone in Goodall's path to transformation. Elena Goodall's journey to a healthier life became a source of inspiration for many, and her progress was closely followed by social media users. In December 2015, she created a Facebook community page called Elle's Journey to Good Health 
to document her commitment to preparing for a triathlon. Goodall shared her transformation with her followers and emphasized the importance of both training and dietary changes. She cut out fast food from her diet and started preparing her meals at home. Motivated by her determination to live a healthier life, and despite negative comments from skeptics who doubted her success, Goodall took on the Julia Creek Triathlon in April 2016. Her determination didn't stop there. She also participated in the Noosa Triathlon in October of the same year. In June 2017, she completed the Karen's Ironman 70.3, a half triathlon event that included a 1.25 mile swim, a 56 mile bike ride, and a 13 mile run. Goodall's achievements filled her with pride, and her parents were relieved to witness their daughter's remarkable transformation. Through her unwavering commitment to a challenging training plan, Goodall's fitness levels improved steadily and her endurance grew. She went from being a clinically obese, 29-stone individual facing a grim prognosis to a healthy 11-stone amateur athlete. When Goodall successfully crossed the finish line at the Karen's Ironman 70.3 event, with a respectable time of 6 hours and 45 minutes, she was overwhelmed with emotion. She expressed her joy to the Karen's post, saying, my parents would be so proud. They thought they were going to lose me. So for them to see me finish, it's just unbelievable. From struggling to tie her own shoes to completing a grueling triathlon, Goodall underwent a remarkable transformation. It wasn't just her new hairstyle that necessitated a replacement photo for her driving license. It's hard to believe that she was once a 405 pound woman facing a life-threatening situation. In March 2018, Goodall shared her story in a YouTube video titled I Reclaimed My Life, showcasing her incredible commitment and transformation over two years. The video, viewed more than 12,000 times, inspired countless viewers. Many left comments expressing their admiration and motivation after watching her journey. Despite her incredible achievements, Goodall faced criticism from some who accused her of cheating by undergoing gastric sleeve surgery. Some viewers suggested she had tried to conceal her surgery during her appearance on This Time Next Year. Goodall addressed these criticisms in an interview with Trezone, explaining that her segment on the show was not meant to focus on weight loss and that her discussion of surgery was edited out. However, such negative feedback did not deter Goodall from pursuing her ambitions for a long and healthy life. She continued to share her journey on YouTube covering various topics ranging from healthy snacks to dealing with excess skin after weight loss. Goodall's focus had shifted from the quick fix of fast food to a hunger for steady self-improvement.